Hey guys, it's your girl Kyra's Crystal Visions. Welcome newbies in betweens and OGs. Give your girl some dap, boo, cause you the dopest and we know this, okay? All right, we're gonna tap in again for some more messages that will give you clarity, confirmation, inspiration, or just guidance on your situation, okay, babies? I am so thankful every every time that you support, you click in, you resonate, and it is a helpful source for you or helpful reading for you. All right, baby, so let's see what messages that spirit has for you. What's the tea? What's the gossip? What's going on? Whether you are aware of this or not, all right? Let's see what is going on with my babies. Let's see. All right. So we have weird, strange, and a twisted individual. So someone that wished bad upon you, someone that has been sending you evil eye, someone that has been throwing black magic at you to throw you off kilter, off focus, and off course. Someone that had bad intent, was plotting against you, was even trying to set you up in some form and fashion. This person that had twisted, twisted thoughts in regards to ending you in some form and fashion, trying to tarnish your reputation, trying to paint you out to be the bad guy, trying to solicit other energies to form a team against you, gang stalking you, like doing the most. I'm hearing limitless on how far they wanted to go to take you down. Okay, this twisted individual has been doing this to you for quite some time. And I just want you to know that you are hella protected. You might have gotten a smidget of this energy but your ancestors, your benevolent ones, and God and force and foremost, first and foremost, has been protecting you from these type of deranged energies. They want to be you. They want to take your man or woman. They want to take your destiny, your lifestyle. They have been conjuring up doing voodoo in regards to trying to replace you as them taking your place graveyard magic, creating voodoo dolls. Like this person was limitless on how they wanted to bring you down. For some, they even came into your vicinity to try to have sex with you so they can bind you to them. For some of you, this is what happened. And this is coming to an end. All right, every reading that I'm doing, I keep hearing new beginning, new shift, new timeline, new paradigm shift, quantum leaping into the reality that you are deserving of. And these individuals will no longer, if they did have a hold on you in some form and fashion, they will no longer have a hold on you because you are more powerful. You are absorbing. You are embracing your power okay and you're realizing that you are more aware of the energies that are around you and i feel like these energies can no longer exist in your auric field because your energy is above these energies so i feel like this could be a group of people an ex group of um possibly Partnerships in business, co-workers, ex-friends, ex-family members, ex-communicated lovers, ex-husbands, wives, baby moms, and baby fathers that had it out for you because you continued or you eventually chose yourself. So they had strong vendettas against you, but you continue to overcome them, to continue to grow and elevate and supersede not only the expectations that they have for you, but your own expectations. And you are now at a level to where they can't touch you, boo. They never could, but I feel like 
at one point in time, you allowed yourself to believe that these type of individuals that were throwing black magic at you, that were, you know, sending you heavy evil eye, praying and visualizing your downfall, trying to ruin your reputation to point you out to be something that you never was. At one point in time, you felt, you know, depressed or stressed or sad, which when you are in those low vibrational energies, this energy that was being sent to you can seem like it is working against you. But as soon as you realize that you are highly favored by God, you have a swore of benevolent spirits, ancestors, orishas, angels, deities that has your back nonstop. You started to understand that you are stronger than this. You are stronger than them. You are stronger than anyone in any situation that is trying to tear you down. And for that, you can now hold your head up high and walk forward with much courage and much understanding that you are the shit and you make shit happen even if it is by yourself at this time you will overcome okay the next card we have is the eighth house this situation involves cycles death and rebirth and someone's attitude towards change and personal growth yes these Twisted, deranged, demonic, I'm hearing possessed, Jezebel, okay, for some of them type of energies, tried their damnedest, whether you were aware of this or not, to end you and your progress forward. But you continue, sweets, to rise like a phoenix every time they think that they have defeated you every time that they think that you can't transform and change and you can't transmute that energy and use it as your benefit every time these people sent this energy towards them you are an alchemist you are a healer in your own right and you would transmute this energy like when they first sent it, it you would feel like maybe sick, like you wanted to vomit, or you felt like a bad feeling. But as you went to sleep and you woke up the next day, you transmuted that energy. And you have so much energy, you're vibrant, you're ready for your day. You know, you can feel like you can conquer anything. It's because with these negative forces and energies and people that were sending this to you don't understand is that you're an alchemist. And you would transmute that energy for your benefit, which in turn would keep you growing, keep your personal growth elevating. And they just couldn't understand how. They have thrown everything at you, but you continue to rise. But I feel like these people were moochers, were users. And as long as they could use you, manipulate you, twist the narrative, right? Put other people against you so you could eventually be by yourself, keep you secluded, and treat you super unfair, you would stay beneath, I'm hearing the totem pole, you would stay beneath where you were actually supposed to be, which is above these individuals and as you stay beneath these individuals because that's where they wanted you they wanted to use you grow off of you they wanted to suck you dry a lot of these energies are succubus vampires Woo! they have demons attached to them because a lot of these individuals or some of them have sold their soul to try to get where you are going. And you have never, not one time, had to sell your soul or make an oath 
to do what you do. It is purely gifted to you. It is ordained to you from the day you were born to be an example of love, abundance, and prosperity. And your ancestors and passed on loved ones are fighting every single day that you get up and open your eyes for you to live out that destiny. Beautiful. And they be damned if anyone tries to stay around you or come around you that is going to use you because you have a good heart. All right, so you have these negative, low vibrational, narcissistic, mentally twisted individuals talking about how they can't use you no more, how you ghosted them, you cut them off. For some of you, without a peep, you just exited stage left and that was that. And ever since you left these individuals, you have continuously grown. You actually probably grew a little bit faster. I wouldn't say these people are remorseful. I don't get that energy at all. They just are defeated. Like, I feel like these individuals won the battle for a little bit. But baby, 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 you are winning the war. You are winning the war. Let's see what else. We have no money, no talk. Not wanting to talk unless money is involved. Hustling, getting to the bag at all costs. I'm getting two messages with this card. The first message is these individuals didn't even want to talk to you. Didn't even look your way would have never put you as a prospect of love or partnership or friendship or even a business proposition if they couldn't use you in some form and fashion. If you weren't at the stability or material status that you have bust your ass to work towards and to accomplish. So these individuals were only around to use and abuse you and to get what they wanted from you also, they wanted to end your career. They wanted to end your reputation. Like money flows to you effortlessly. And everything you spend, you get back times 10. Do you understand me? And these hating, I'm hearing onlookers, some people you don't even know, because they were sent to you by a hating ass individual, or you have your ex-people that you communi ex communicated yourself from, that were just throwing targets of oh, pure hatred towards you, pure envy, pure jealousy. And they wanted this evolution or evolving of whatever business, whatever job that it was is just going great for you. Whatever risk that you took that you are going to take that is going to give you so much financial abundance. They did not want this for you. But I'm also getting that you don't talk to these people because you're tired of them using, abusing you and only coming around when you got a little change in your pocket, when you making moves, when life is going good for you. You see these people's true colors and you're like, listen, if you ain't on my level, get the fuck back. I'm hearing get back, get back. You don't know me like that. Yeah. So you got people trying to Tell you who you are, don't even know you. People that hate you don't even know you. And it's because of somebody running their mouth behind the scenes. Could be a feminine energy shitting on your name, or it could be a masculine that's highly in their feminine energy because they're acting like a pom pom. For whatever reason, they have a vendetta against you. Trying to say that whatever you do for work, you're inadequate, you're a liar, you're a moocher, you're a scammer. You ain't really good at what you do. You don't deserve where you're at. How the fuck do they even part their pie hole to even say such things when they haven't been with you through the struggle? This is all projection and speculation and opinions. 
no facts. But no worry because these individuals, ugh, I hear a harsh message. If they continue to plot against you or send you negative energy or do any form of voodoo magic, of rutaia, their life will end. And it's just that simple. That's exactly what I heard. They're just going to end their life. Point blank, period. And you will find out about this. So, Cross Watcher, if you're watching for the collective, you keep fucking around with this earth angel, this benevolent being that ain't doing shit to nobody, but just staying out the way and trying to live their life, trying to enjoy the family if you do have a family or just their singlehood trying to survive like everybody else, you will be laid to rest. And that's a promise from their ancestors. Listen, I'm just the messenger. I don't want no smoke from nobody. <laughs> but that is what I'm hearing loud and clear. Bottom of the deck, you, you are chilling. You ain't hurting or harming nobody. You are building what you're supposed to build. You are carrying out the purpose that is ordained for you to carry out. And these motherfuckers are jealous, envious, hateful. You wouldn't have to cut these motherfuckers off if they weren't the nasty, nagarly, opportunist, manipulative, heavy, hidden agenda ass motherfuckers that they are. But you up here chilling while they stress. You chilling while they stress. You, 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 you got a lot of blessings that is occurring in your life right now or that is coming. And not a motherfucking soul can stop it. Not a motherfucking soul. So let's see who are some of these deranged people, okay? Let's get a gist of who these people could be. So these definitely could be feminines. Or like I said, masculines in their feminine energy. It says, lies being spread, fake news, fake rumors have been going around about you. Or the situation, all lies, no facts. Didn't I just say that? And I'm going to be honest, a lot of you don't even know this is going on because you don't give a fuck about the people that's actually talking about you like this. And by you not giving them no energy, that too is contributing to you growing, to you keep pushing forward. Because you're giving these people no energy to dwell off of. Not only that, if you gave them energy, it would affect your energy. So... For a lot of you, I don't feel like you know this is even going on. Like, And the crazy part is when people spread lies about you, then people look you up and they can't correlate the lies. Like, It don't make sense. How are you saying the collective is like this, but then I see them like this and how generous and kind and how giving and, and how, you know, educated they are about, you know, karma and how... Would they have the audacity to do you this way, knowing the consequences and, and so forth and so on? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not adding up pretty much. It's not adding up. So these people, right, that this person is going to or these people that are going to to talk shit about you are realizing that these people, this person is a narcissist. All right? Inflated sense of self-importance. Complete disregard for any one's feelings, always needing attention. Yeah, this is the type of person or people that never take accountability. And what is happening is that the people that looked at them in high regards are now looking at them with a lot of distaste. Like this person has, or these people have an energy to where when you get around them, you feel sick in the stomach. Like you can't stay around these individuals for too long. That's how low their energy is. Some of these individuals are cursed because of what they tried to do to you. They're cursed. But see, they not only did this to you, but they did this to other individuals too. You know what I'm saying? So they have put this curse upon themselves. And as you continue to escalate and incline, they continue to deflate and decline. And it is hitting them. It is hurting them, but they still are not remorseful. Mm -mm. Because they think that by 
spreading lies on you and makes them look better, but it's actually making them look worse. Because when people look you up, I cannot stress this enough, they don't see the correlation. They don't see what this person is talking about. They see all of the love you get, the support you get, or how loving and supportive you are amongst other beautiful characteristics and attributes. And they're not putting two and two together. For some of these people, they have actually met you face to face. And after they met you and talked to you, they have now made this other person or people their enemy. Ooh, it's backfiring. Ooh, it's backfiring. Yeah, these people you knew were toxic. Friends, family, co-workers, people that was bystanders that you met, that you thought would be your friends, lovers, ex-lovers, baby mamas, baby fathers, ex-husbands, wives, all of them. You know your circumstance and situation. It's like when you bowed out gracefully, people wanted to make it seem like you were the problem. But as you ignored, as you allowed God to do they thug thizzle, your ancestors, oh, the truth is being revealed that it was these individuals. And the people that listen to these individuals are feeling bad. Those are the people that feel remorseful. Those are the people that feel regretful that they ever listened to this narcissistic or these narcissistic fucking people. Because you are a diamond. Let's see what else. Acting a fool. All right. Someone who knows they are being childish and goofy, but doesn't care when the situation calls for maturity. Yeah. These people thought that they could treat you, talk to you, act towards you any way. When you were being serious, when you tried to communicate to get down to the nitty gritty, they laughed in your face. They laughed behind your back. They talked about your spirituality. They talked about your dreams, your goals. They even talked about your physicality. For some, they talked about your physical beauty, saying that you ain't that beautiful. You got this work done. You got that work done. You think you all of that just running down the line, slandering you. And they thought it was funny. They, they thought it was all funny games. They thought they had you by the balls. They thought that ain't no fucking way you're going to be successful. Ain't no way you're going to be happy without them. Ain't no way. The goals that you set for yourself, ain't no way you're going to accomplish them. Shit. Collective living a pipe dream. Oh, but who has the last laugh now? Life is working out for you so beautifully, or it is, as long as you know it in your soul. You understand me? If you know for damn sure that life is always working out for you, that life is always working out for you and never against you, definitely God and your benevolent ones, put that down in the comment section. You look at the glass half full, not half empty. It's a different perspective. And this is why you continue to move and to grow and to have so much abundance on top of the fact that you are immersely grateful. If you are grateful, my babies, put it in the comments below and tell me what you grateful for, babies, because... It is a blessing that God is getting these individuals up off of your back, up off of your energy, as well as you are. If you need to, do your spiritual bath. Use frankincense to cleanse your home. Make sure if you have any mirrors around, cleanse your mirrors. Because this phase of feeling stuck and stagnant, I cannot stress this enough, is coming to an end. These narcissists will get what they deserve. Don't you ever think that they don't. And they thought it was all fun and games when you were down on your luck. But baby, you coming up and you coming up fast. And they sick. Now, some of these people 
want to come in like, oh, I want to be your friend. But they really want to eventually have sex with you and want to be with you so they can monopolize off of you and for some, stop you. So be careful of a narcissist coming into your life soon. Could be a friend, family, lover, ex-lover of some sort that wants to stop your progress, that wants to invade their energy onto a beautiful relationship that you could be developing right now. Onto the fact that you get in the bag. And that's what you are worried about if you are single and that's what you're focused on. They want to stop you. They want to distract you. It's like they wanted your fate to be misfortune. But as they wished ill will upon you, it has now regurgitated and turned around to end up to be their destiny and their fate. A lot of these people. For some you know, and for others you have no clue. And for any practitioner that helped them, that helped them of trying to cause death upon you or to end what you have worked so hard for inwardly and financially, they too will get their consequences, I'm hearing. These people are losing their job, losing their mind. I'm hearing psychosis. These people are in debt. These people are becoming homeless, bankruptcy. They are becoming secluded because no one wants to be around them. They are being swallowed up by the misery they try to cause you and others. Mm. And they have no one to turn to. Yes, they could turn to God, but will they? Or is it too late? I don't know. Let's see what other messages you have. Strength. Keep being resilient. Keep being strong. Keep moving forward with so much confidence and reassurance that God got you, man. If you know for a definite that God got you, put it down in the comments. Because you have maneuvered out of situations that you thought you never would because money has come in at the last minute to help pay that rent, to keep your head above water, to keep the food on the table for you, your children, and your family. If you know that God got you, put it in the comments, baby. You are strength, the embodiment, and not near one of these tarnished or toxic or damaged souls can do anything about it. Not only are you strength, you are sexy, gorgeous, fine. You are passionate. You are well-rounded and highly wanted, okay? And everything that you put your mind to, it always works out, always. Because you are meant to be the embodiment of an example that possibilities are always always capable whatever you want to do whatever you want to be whatever you want to see and wherever you want to go you can do it let's see what else you have the king of pentacles whether you are a man or a woman you are copacetic you are good your money is good you're grounded. You are sitting on your throne comfortable. Comfortable. Um, for some of you, you could be married. You have a good spouse, a good partner. Like, you have everything you want. You had to fight for it. But you are sitting comfortably where you want to be or this is destined for you, ordained for you in your future. Now, this wanted to come up reverse, right? And the message that I got when it wanted to come up reverse, but I put it, you know, up right, is that these individuals could be masculine energies or women in their masculine energy thought that they were above you. Like they thought that they had more than you. And at the time they probably did, right? They got nice cars, good money, chains. They live in the life while they looking at you struggle to survive. And they thought it was funny. 
But now you are in this position and they are in the reverse position, struggling, being betrayed, being manipulated. For some, women getting pregnant by them and taken for everything from child support or the women getting pregnant and having to struggle because the man don't want them no more. Oh, so many scenarios, baby. But listen, you, my love, your resilience has gotten you to the place of feeling financially set or you will soon feel this feeling. The seeds that you have sown, that you have invested in yourself and your mental health, your mental growth, your spiritual growth and your financial growth, it will continue to grow. Okay, Spirit is saying, make sure you rest. All right? That money that you are working for, the stability, ain't going nowhere. Make sure you rest because they want to make sure that you're healthy. Make sure you're eating healthy. All right, it's a lot of greenery, so you could be eating healthy, drinking a lot of water. Keep that up. Do not neglect your temple because that is associated with your base chakra, okay? And if you want that money to keep coming in, you got to take care of yourself. It's a bust. Okay, let's clarify strength. Let's clarify strength. I don't got to make this shit up, y'all. You have the six of wands victory. I can't make this shit up. Your resilience has gotten you much success or it is bringing you much success. Many suitors, many opportunities many different, I mean, paths that is all leading to success, that is all leading to victory, all right? And some of these paths are leading to profound or prestigious friendships and love interests, okay? It is definitely leading you to your person. You have the king and the queen of pentacles right here. Oh, I love it. I love it, yes. If you are single, you won't be for long. And if you are with a king of pentacles or a queen of pentacles, by y'all sticking by each other, taking up for each other, having each other's back, being understanding, right? And loving each other for who you are, not trying to change each other, but always suggesting improvement and allowing that person to take their own initiative to improve. This relationship is going to go great. Communication. You guys are going to be making money together. Uh, comfortable together. Having children. And you already have children. Okay. Let's get one more. Eventually, if this person marries you or the more y'all elevate, this person will become the emperor and you will become the empress or whichever way. You're the emperor. She's the empress. Okay. Let's get one more. The stuff, I can't make this shit up. You are destined to live whatever dream that is your dream, that is your happiness. It differs for everyone. It is ordainedly set up for you to be who you're supposed to be in this lifetime. And can't no fucking body do anything about it. At the bottom of the deck, Empress. Didn't I just say, as y'all keep elevating together, you're going to become the empress. They're going to become the emperor. If you don't have your empress or emperor right by you, if you're single, this can come unexpectedly. Maybe you're not looking. And that's when, you, that's when it comes faster, when you ain't worried about it. But even if this is not a love situation, this is business. This is partnership, expansion, growth. Be opportunities that you never thought existed. For some, you know, you, you may get pregnant and then this person will marry you or take it to the next level for some of you. Or you may be pregnant now. Some For some of you, this person already proposed. For some of you, y'all already married. But if you're single, this is to come. Claim it, know it, feel it in your being that it exists for you and it shall manifest into your reality it's 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 ordained and it's going to be a healing love you guys are going to be in a spotlight as well 
Like, everybody are going to look up to y'all. Like, you kind of have so much victory. Whether this is a reconciliation or someone new, it, it, it's going to go way better than what you could have imagined about a relationship or a reconnection of a relationship. For some of you, if this is a reconciliation, these individuals, these twisted, dark individuals was basically in your person's ear saying that you weren't good enough for them. So your person was energetically blocking you, not really giving you what they could. But as this shit ended and your person saw, whether it's a man or a woman, saw these individuals for who they were or they showed themselves, your person is speeding towards you full throttle. Before they were taking their time, they were unsure, they were indecisive, lies was being spread about you. But now they know the truth. Spirit has showed them the truth in their heart and they're coming full throttle. They know that y'all destined. And for others... Maybe someone wanted to come towards you, but it was people talking shit about you because he was jealous. You're the fucking queen of pentacles, the empress. Hey, jealous. You're a fucking star. You can be the spotlight or that's what you are meant to be. And they didn't want this person to be with you because some of these people, a lot of these people wanted this person. But you a motherfucking empress, man. It don't, it don't get no better. Emperor, it don't get no better. You are selfless, unconditional. Everything that you touch expands and grows. You are compassionate. You are relatable. You are real. You are authentic. You are in your power. You are poised, gracious. You are mysterious. You are all queens in one. They don't get no better. And this is why these individuals try so hard to stop you. Because you, my love, are going to be a big, big influence on the world. In your own right or on a bigger scale. It differs for everyone. Mm. For some of you, you have a generous husband or wife that is smitten over you. I mean, they would never choose anyone else. And I feel like you have a deranged, twisted individual that put magic on them or twisted their thoughts and making them believe that you were never for them, that you weren't good, good, a good option for them. You weren't healthy. And unfortunately, some of your persons believe these individuals and then some of your persons immediately cut these individuals out. And the reason why they were coercing your person is because they wanted their money. Yeah, that was a sign that my angel fell. Like they wanted you to fall. They wanted you to be so heartbroken that you would fall from your position in life, but you never let that happen. Even if you were heartbroken, even if you were going through things, you still got up every day and pushed forward. And they just don't know how you do it. How are you doing it? Like, but they're realizing you can't be stopped. Won't stop. Can't stop. Bad boy out this bitch, okay? Now, for some of you, this could still be happening. Even though you are starting a new beginning, you still have people, and you will, that will still try to ruin you, that will still try to project upon you, that will still try to tell lies on you, that will try to use you in any form they can, but it's, you're above it. And for some of you, you're gonna have a person that is going to rock out with you. It's gonna encourage you, support you, when these trolls try to bring you down and you will do the same for this person. Y'all on the same level, very nurturing to each other, very loving. Or this could be a business partner, your best friend that you are going into partnership with. And y'all got each other. You ain't going to let nobody talk about your person. And they ain't, ain't going to let nobody talk about you. Y'all best friends. And y'all making money. Y'all enjoying life. Y'all traveling. Y'all healing. Going on ayahuasca trips. Doing the damn thing. Y'all got a lot of suitors. Y'all may flirt and have fun. But ultimately, you may marry this person. Same sex, different sex, 
Or y'all just may keep it platonic and support each other's relationships. It's beautiful energy. Beautiful. So let's get a uh, card, e-card from the ancestors real quick. What you got to say, my babies? What you got to say? Okay, hold up. Jackpot. Jackpot. This person that's coming in or that is with you, that's how they feel. You either will hit the jackpot or baby, your future is protected, the number four. You are the gift. You are the prize. And as you realize that and you worked on yourself and you continue to push forward and have that courage and resilience to get up every day and keep going, jackpot is working out for you. It always will. As you released and ignored what was no longer serving you, as you kept standing in your power and in your truth and healing, it all works out for you. People tried to put you in a nasty knot, entanglements, friends with benefits. They tried to count your money as theirs, tried to use you, tried to make you feel confused and indecisive about love and your career. Tried to have you commit suicide, have suicidal thoughts. Right after that, brand spanking new. But it's all over, baby. I cannot make this shit up. Like, I keep feeling the collective has a new beginning. Either you got to take this leap of faith or you already have without question. So no more bullshit. Brand spanking new, sweets. Brand spanking new. Somebody going to call you on your hotline. Baby, what well, you need, my love. Yeah, somebody going to call you. Opportunities, career, and love, boo-boo. Or you got these fake-ass people that's going to try to call you and get back in with you. So just be careful because now that you've grown one and two is three, three is expansion. You're now the empress. Now, you know, now they want you. So just be careful. Listen, I got so much more. Um, real quick, we are going to get some initials of who these people may be. Okay. So I can help you out real quick. This is pretty much a long reading, but I love you, babes. S Q U B E F D E K F N X, definitely an X, V R, could be ex friend, ex lover, ex wife, baby mama, baby father, shit. K P O H S R we have V, J, R, Y, Z, M, P, V. Um, I'm getting horny, so this could be someone you had sex with. All right, could have been an entanglement, friends with benefits situation. I'm seeing free, F R E E. You freeze yourself, and you ain't never looking back. Okay. Um, of course, I'm getting victory because I see the six of swords. But I don't really see that on here. Um, you dropped this person like a hot motherfucking potato. <laughs> Maybe um, some of these people thought that they had you in the bag. Maybe you had sex with these people. And they thought, you know, they didn't put it down. Now you hypnotize a sprung and you was like, not the fuck today. And you moved right along. Maybe you were just, you know, enjoying yourself, having fun. You know what I'm saying? It's your life. Um... Um, you got the key. I'm here. You got the key to the streets. You have the key to manifesting the life you want. And these people want to pick your brain to see how to do it. Okay. Um, some of these people try to make it seem like you are promiscuous. Okay. That's the lies that's being spread. I'm hearing that you don't give two fucks about these people. You could have definitely been married. MRS. Okay. You could have been a missus or a mister. You are saying, fuck no, okay, <laughs> to anyone that has pretty much betrayed you. Like, you don't trust this individual, these individuals. You want something new. 
or they better come back brand new, I'm hearing as well. I'm hearing um, these people were fronting, okay? And you don't have time for masks. They were either fronting like they were your friend or they were fronting like they didn't have any feelings for you. And because that, you rejected them or you stopped talking to them and they got butt hurt. All right, guys, if you see anything else, let me know the initials, your initials to, to verify that this is your reading. Any other words? Okay. But that is the reading, babies. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell button so you know when your girl posts it. Until next time. Bye.